Thank you so much for coming. Before we get into everything, I want to ask, why are we here? Because there seems to be a lot of questions about what exactly is the reason that has brought us all today? Whether that's from the Oromo community itself or outside. And I think it's important that we address and reiterate a few things moving forward so we all understand why is it that we are protesting. First and foremost, of course, the assassination of Hachalu Mundesa. Now there is a lot of conversation about not knowing the circumstances around his death and then now questioning the reason for protest. It is important to remember, however, the struggle for Oromo freedom is not it did not just begin with the assassination of Hachalu. This is the last straw. This is the straw that broke Hachalu's assassination is a representation of over a hundred years of subjugation. And that is what we are fighting for. Regardless of who pulled the trigger, the response from the government is an example of the lack of support and protection that so many minority groups in the country experience. The next thing, there is so much, especially for those of us younger folks on social media, there is so much counter narrative that is going on and that is something I want to address very quickly. The counter narrative that Oromos are now seeking violence in a mass level against non-Oromos is simple fabrication. To brush, to take a brush the entire community because of the acts of a small group is absolutely silencing and we all know what silence is violence. silence is violence and so to silence a movement by painting an entire community with one broad brush is intentional disinformation let's make that clear we condemn all violence against innocent people regardless of all ethnic groups. However, our push for liberation still stands regardless. If we just take an understanding of our history and of our shared experience. The next thing I want to address is the importance for solidarity. Those of you who are here in solidarity, we appreciate you. But also recognize that the Bay Area has one of the largest East African communities, and this is the turnout that we've received. So when we say that we are not being heard, we don't even need to point to Ethiopia itself. We can literally look at our hometown and see that the support is not there. That is, this is clearly not a case of all of Ethiopia mourning. So when, again, when we say we want to be united, unity comes with the taking on of each other's pain and the taking on of each other's trauma and protecting that. And today we've seen that our community, our quote unquote community in the Bay Area has refused to take on this pain and really stand for one another. And so this is what solidarity is. And if, if folks who have chosen not to be here have chosen to take the, ch the stance, of lack of solidarity, and that in itself is an act of violence. Use your privilege here in the United States to speak on your, to speak on the issues of human rights, because this is an issue of human rights. Do not let the counter narrative shy you away from speaking on all the experiences we as a community have faced. And for those of us who were born in the United States, a lot of this counter narrative can be confusing, and it can make our even us doubt ourselves. But just think back to your own personal experiences here in the United States within the East African community. Do you ever feel heard? Is your experiences reflected in Abashaf's spaces? No. This is a speaking from somebody who's born and raised here, has been in every East African space, and you still have to kick and scream just for your music to be played, just for your clothes to be on a stage, just to have somebody learn how to say hello in your language. You're constantly made to assimilate, and this is not an experience that is alone to the Oromo community. This is an issue for all minority groups in the country. The lack of representation is absolutely horrendous. And that is something that needs to change. Equity does not mean assimilation and the homogenization of a community. We have to understand that. So if people are angry, it's because they want the status quo and they want us to all be the same. Even here in the United States, what we say the, the Bay Area is what? It's diverse and it's